So hi, how's it going? Good. Oh my goodness. So I'm making a video to show you. Mm, I'm doing a video today to um, explain what it was like me having my operation. Let's go. So my operation was on Monday the 13th of February and I'm looking down because I've written notes. <laughs> Just there. So um, Monday my, I had to be there at 12 o'clock and when I got there I was really scared and I went to the reception and they put me through to a waiting room and they told me I was first on a list so that was great yeah so when you go in to the waiting room you get called in by an anaesthetist come on a nurse uh, uh, the doctor and then another nurse So you go four times back and forth from, you know, the little consultation room and to the waiting room. The first time you do it, you sign forms, they ask your date of birth, what you're allergic to, and, you know, sort of general things like that. And they tell you, um, sort of, they, well, they told me um, the whole procedure for the anaesthetic part. And... I said to them how I was afraid of sort of needles and I would really panic and what I liked about that is that they they helped me so instead of getting the the injection I was given the mask and I felt like happy that they gave me that option I you know it, I think it was very easy for them to say well pff, you're gonna have it you know so that was great yeah so after that you go back into the waiting room get called out again this is by the nurse she goes through your questions again um so the questions they ask you is like health questions and you've just got to repeat yourself like loads of times um it's not that big a deal you just do it you know it's fine uh the second time the nurse she gives you some lovely green socks basically they're compression socks they're meant to keep the blood flow i think um they're knee highs um, they've got a little hole at the toe a bit. I don't know why, but sure, why not? So I wore them. Back in the waiting room, back out. This time I spoke to the doctor. I didn't catch his name. I've completely forgotten his name. No, like, I'm so sorry if you're watching this that, you've, that I've forgotten your name. I really am. I was really scared at the time, so a lot of stuff just went whew. So... Hi! So I saw the doctor, he talked me through the procedure, any kind of worries I had. That was it, basically. He had to look up my nose. And then you go back into the waiting room and you wait a lot longer to then be called in by another nurse, by the last, the fourth, oh, the fourth, the, the fourth nurse person. She asks you questions and she gives you the... Excuse me? She gives you the gown and you put it on. And I was allowed to keep my knickknacks on. My knickers on. And I was there in my dressing gown and my slippers and walking towards another room. Now, when you go into this other room, you're in a room with a load of beds. And you basically got to lie on the bed, have the gown opened at the back and make sure you're not sitting on it and you've got to wait there and I was on my own no one else like next to me no one to sort of share the fear with no 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 but there was um opposite me this nurse at a table with all the other sort of um I suppose doctors and stuff they look like they were on their break so they're having a laugh and I was just like shaking it, yeah it's fun it was great I felt great but that was the longest wait of my life have I missed anything out so when you're in the bed waiting this is where you say goodbye and I say goodbye to dad. <laughs> goodbye um so I said bye to my dad when you're waiting there the anaesthetic 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 doctor comes in um, it could be the same guy, it wasn't for me, but he asked you the questions again and he wheels you in through to the surgery room. And you're still awake. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not like the actual surgery room, it is 
uh, like the room before the room so you go in there and it just looks like two big doors are in front of you and it's just this sort of small room it just that's what it looks like at this point I was freaking out I was so scared I really I just I, I, I couldn't handle it and they put the mask on my face I had a nurse a female nurse the I suppose a male nurse I, I think I'm oh, sorry I don't know the full job roles how many yeah I don't yeah sorry sorry nurse anaesthetist another another nurse anaesthetist and I was holding onto this nurse's hand like full on gripping it like freaking out like oh god I don't think I can do this ah. and they put the mask on my face I had to hold it and I could hear the guy behind me saying do you breathe deep breathe deep or deep breaths you know really slowly and like deep like voice I think that was meant to sort of like <laughs> You know and so that's and uh, it just wasn't working it wasn't working like I could taste the stuff that they got going on like should you know it, it tastes weird but it wasn't working I was freaking out like I was like I'm gonna go into this operation room and I'm gonna be wide awake but and I was and I was like looking at him like it's not working it's not working and so the guy was like right the guy here so imagine me lying down there's a nurse there there's a ma man there and there's another man there the man there, he says, to, he says, like, grab my hand, and so I did, and he pushed the mask down on my face. And this wasn't to be mean or anything, it's just to stop any air to come into the mask, so you're just meant to breathe in whatever they got breathing in. So, yeah, that was that, and I was still freaking out. He's put, so I'm like holding on to these two people, like, looking at them, like, it's not working, and then, um, I was looking and then I remember looking up at the ceiling and I started to feel drowsy I started to feel like um like you know when you're drunk and sort of the hyperness and the fun of games they've sort of gone and you're just sort of lying in bed like whoa you know that's what I felt like and so I I realized that and I was like okay I remember thinking okay Cody just just let it take you you know let it do its thing just just that's what I was thinking I remember thinking just let it let it don't fight it i was like don't fight it just let it sort of do its thing and i just remember like looking up at the ceiling and then out i went <laughs> next thing i know i woke up and i remember waking up thinking huh, i must have fallen asleep there was, there was people around me it was all over it was it felt really weird it felt like i can only just sort of like describe it as so like if you ever fall asleep watching TV, like you're watching TV and then you wake up like, huh, whoa, you know, that, that's, that's what it's like. But except for me, I was like, the last thing I remember, I was panicking. So to like panicking to then nothing, it was really weird, you know, so that's the only weird part about it for me. And when I woke up, um, I felt like I'd been punched right there. So my whole like top part of my mouth just felt numb, like, but like not like dentist numb, but like, uh, like painful, like numb, and it felt the same with my nose. It just felt like I, I've never been. Oh no, I have, but punched in the face. And it's just, phone, mate. Sort yourself out. It feels like that, like you've been punched in the face and it just, and your whole face is like, uh, you know? That's what it's like. And I was in this bed, I remember being in the bed and like, huh, spaced out. And I, there was this nurse next to me and as soon as you wake up, they start talking to you. Like it's, 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 I don't know if that's a thing they have to do, but they, they straight away into conversation with you. Like, I suppose it's to sort of keep you keep you awake you know keep you sort of you don't want you to sort of fall asleep again or something you know which is that's not you know that's good i you know you know i don't hate that i'm happy with that sure and this woman she was so sweet she's so nice to me because when you're in a position like that i don't know about anyone else who's like been knocked out from anesthetic but when you wake up for me you feel so delicate <laughs> <laughs> and the nurse, she was so nice to me, she was sort of just talking to me, like she was at my bed, so I just sort of made, made me feel really sort of 
safe and calm and that's that's so good in when you're in a, in a situation like that it's, it's, it's exactly what you need you just need sort of a friendly conversation like and then once you've sort of woken up a bit I think you get wheeled out of recovery and into one of the wards and when you're in the wards oh hang on rewind you still have the tube in your hand that's another thing um, they take the tube out but they don't take the actual thing out the needle part I just thought I might let you know. So anyway, you're in the ward. And I had one of the nose strips on. You're gonna see pictures of me with it on. It's like the same thing and it was blue and I was bleeding a lot more than I am in those pictures. So I was still sort of mmm and I saw some the nurses that I met before the operation and they were asking, oh do you want water, sandwich, a banana, things like that. And I don't remember if I gave them an answer, <laughs> but she, I think she got me some water, and you know that was nice. Like they treat they treat you. What I'm trying to say is they treat you really sort of. They really sort of care how they treat you. Then I had my mum and my dad talking to the receptionist like, "Where's Cody?" And they brought they came in, and this is a thing that is totally typical with my parents. So, when you're in the ward, just imagine the scene, there's people in there just waking up and they're all, oh, you know, they're sort of all really like, uh, sort of weak and they're sort of walking about trying to get to the toilet and it's, it's very difficult for them and you see people just don't want to eat, don't want to drink, oh, it's, it's, it's really like, no, no offence to them whatsoever, I completely sympathise with it. but. Then you get to my bed and there's just, so imagine the bed's along this way and I'm sitting on the side of it, my mum's sitting on the, like next to me and my dad's sitting in the chair and we're all eating Greg's pasties <laughs> and yum yums just sitting there like a bloody picnic <laughs> just looking around like, it's nice in here isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Just typical, like people were looking over at us like, what? <laughs> anyway, um, before you can leave um, and have the uh, drip thing, uh, needle part taken out, you have to drink water, eat food and go to the loo. So I did that. That is, is, that's, that's such an interesting part of the story. But anyway, um, I stayed in the ward for I think like an hour before I left, maybe, I don't really remember but all I felt like I just wanted to go home. And then I fell asleep, I ate my pasty and if I'm good at technology, here's a picture of me eating a pasty with a filter on, because you know. Before I show you any of the pictures I just wanted to tell you that there is blood, it's not loads of blood, it's not really gory, it's just literally on my nose and on any kind of bandages, bandages while I'm wearing my nose so I'm wearing my nose so if you really don't like blood I would look away now so yeah that's the picture of me and then I fell asleep mm. so that brings us to Tuesday this is just base I'm just going to do the Tuesday Wednesday Thursday of sort of my recovery and because after that point, I, it's pretty much been the same of how, how, <laughs> how I'm feeling now. Tuesday is when I started the medication part of things. So I had to snort salt water four times a day and put in some uh, cream and paracetamol and ibuprofen. When the nurse said you have to snort salt water, she said a lot of people don't because it's horrible and it is the first time you do it you tear up feel horrible it's horrible but just keep at it i didn't do it four times a day because i don't live by the rules but i still felt very weak um i felt drowsy and awful so wednesday movement on I could take my nose thing off that's come off today and you can see in any picture that I've got going on um, 
there's a little bit of blood still in there. When I was snorting salt water, bear in mind salt water's got to be tepid, like not cold and not boiling hot. And when I did it, when I snorted the water, it, it went up on one side, but on the other side I just couldn't get it to go up. You, you've got to be persistent to get to sort of snort it. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. So Thursday, the pain is quite bad on this day. Bear in mind, I've not been taking the paracetamol as often as I probably should. So yeah, um, I went shopping. Yeah, I went shopping. I felt at this point very sort of flu-like. I know that day colds or day, day flu or something like that is a thing. I might have, I don't know if I had it, but I felt very sort of flu-like. I'm still taking the salt water, like as often as I want to. <laughs> And then Friday, Saturday and all of this week I've just been feeling similar to how I'm feeling today Like it still feels very sort of um, uh, You know, it's all like I can't describe it very well but that's what it's like And it's just been feeling like that T Today's the first day I can really sort of breathe Oh hang on I can kind of breathe <laughs> But I feel good, I feel fine so yeah, that was my experience. I just wanted to also say how great all the hospital staff workers, every single one of them have been. Like, because I was really, really scared. Like, even the nurse when I was having my, having the, the mask put on, she was so nice to me. And all the other doctors were really sort of patient. I felt like after I had my operation, the doctor came up to me and he said how well it went. Like, for have, to have a doctor, see me after the operation to say how well it went I didn't know that was going to happen I, it wouldn't have bothered me like if it didn't happen like, he could have easily just gone that's that done moving on or like I'm going home you know it's like so I'm really grateful and I said thank you to him well I remember saying thank you while I was out he was a really nice guy so if anyone's watching this and uh, you just happen to work at a hospital hi <laughs> I want to say you're really 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 awesome and thank you so much they're really honestly they calm you down in there I was so I was really panicking and they really um, helped me with that so yeah thank you so much for watching I don't say that what do I usually say oh come on Cody what do I usually say if you stumbled onto my video thanks and I will see you soon Oh my god. <laughs>